Hello again everybody, welcome back to my showcase of Conquest of the New World. Now you may remember the last episode that uh, Thai pitiful little uh, Portuguese army, they were here, they did actually attack my colony, they were soundly thrashed, of course, uh, in the, it's been several turns since then, uh, we're still belligerent, I don't know if we're particularly at war as such. However, way over here I discovered where their colony is, which I think is a good time to show off attacking the AI or the enemy if they potentially play as uh, you can play this multiplayer, I never have. Raid it or capture it or forget it. I will attempt to capture their colony. And one more thing very quickly, remember how I had 32 points when I commissioned a leader, and I've pumped a bit up into military research. It's now level 2. That actually now gives me 36 points to spend on them. So that's what doing that does. Uh, any any case, let's quickly do this battle. There. It's a fairly small colony for them, so I don't think I'll have too much trouble. We can hope. <laughs> it's all down to a random number generation as well. Uh, we can actually move them up one more. It depends. Oh, we'll do it anyway. They ran away. Okay, then. They were so overawed by my by my military might and he still wants to trade with me <laughs> I don't know if he's got any other colonies or we've knocked him out of the game but uh, we'll find out soon and what the hell we'll we'll accept his uh, bribes so we're gonna sign we only have one point that's not enough to do anything That is your army there. This is now my colony. So I control this colony. Um, it's a pretty crappy looking colony. What have we got here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close to it is at max population. Not really doing very much. And of course it's not doing that. Uh, I suspect what I might have to do is demolish most of this colony. Only short by three gold. Uh to change. Yeah, it's we've proposed that we drop down to war. <laughs> if we can destroy your final army. Um, you guys, you are... Oh, you're friendly to me. That's right. I don't think that colony's really worth keeping, to be honest. Not in its current state. I'll need to explore everything that's around there. And Reorganize it. That might become my uh, lumber producing colony since I f was actually running out of wood here, trading so much to my other nascent colonies that I was running out. So I suppose that would be worth using that colony down there, that captured Portuguese colony, as purely supplying timber. Now over here. We are still receiving metals and wood. Uh, they've started selling their crops to the mother country to get some gold in. There's no other way for them to really get gold or metals or wood in this area. I'm also going to build a couple of forts here to get lots of... Uh, otherwise it's all only going to be crops. So, in essence, what they're going to be doing is also supplying the military. Uh, no, I don't really need any more 
that. Goods, but that's all right. That's why I'm building more commerce centres. And I f found uh, rice fields to increase farm bonuses, and a couple of gold veins over here. So I set up a colony here. That is still short by wood. You're just receiving stuff from the capital at the moment. You're not really producing much of your own. Three, one, six, two, plenty. And we've got a couple of uh, military units in there in case we need them. My trade. Increase my trade to them, perhaps. I don't know if I can actually. Yeah, yeah that's max. Alright, so. That's it for that. We'll just do the result of this fight down here. I think he's probably going to run away again. with the cav. <laughs> yep, he ran away and was slaughtered. That's what you get for attacking me, buddy. Glorious victory. Looks like he was probably trying to raid the uh, colony back. But he ended up getting whacked. Uh, again, I don't know if there's any more Cruise an explorer. Just gonna have a look around here. Because it seems likely that I'll be demolishing most of this at some point. But that will be for something to do in the future. That was all I wanted to show just at the moment. Now this uh, is only very short. So this will not be a complete episode, what I'll do is I'll keep going until I get to the point of something else interesting happening, probably going to be declaring independence. Uh, so I guess I will see you very shortly. Right, I'm back again. Uh, as you can see, uh, my mother country is currently unhappy with me, opinion is dropping. That is because... I haven't been paying my taxes, as I mentioned, I just turned off automated and there we go. Now, strangely enough, Portugal, uh, who uh, we started off as an all-out war and they attacked me and then I took their colony, they actually went up to an alliance, but now everything seems to be coming back down again, so who knows. Um, now, here's a thing I haven't mentioned before. Spy missions. We've got no missions. We can. You can either try and spy on them, or you can sabotage. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'll just uh, see what happens. I don't remember ever using them particularly in the past. Uh, we're preparing our, all our colonies for war. We've all got uh, leaders with lots of attacks. I've recruited, and we've got lots of. Uh, troops stationed inside them, but beyond that not much is really going on. And in terms of the world here, we've explored large chunks of it. Uh, my ships have found the edge of the map. And up here we found another little island, although we haven't done much exploring of it, but uh, given that it looks like it's covered in snow, it's probably not going to be very fertile, so uh, probably won't be doing much with that. Sir Gregory still giving wood. <laughs> Who's got lots of wood? You got lots of wood. Do you, how much wood do you have? 
You can do that, yeah. I haven't found, uh, as I recall, another colony belonging to Portugal. I think I may have destroyed them. This is Spain. France. Uh, the natives are around here somewhere. Who's this? This is... Yeah, the natives. Hmm. In any case... Might be moving. I seem to have lost keyboard control. <laughs> ah, there we go. Go faster. It doesn't matter all the waiting for at this point in time. Oh! Actually, one thing I have better mentioned because I didn't realize it until I don't know if I even knew it before I can't remember goods to manufacture goods actually takes your other productions um, we're consuming 46 metal 46 wood and probably 46 crops as well uh, quite aside from what the populations eating to produce the goods it's something to be aware of and something I completely forgot until uh, I was playing around here. Anyway, there's not really much else to discuss in this. Uh, my spy was killed, so there we go. And I am rebellious, apparently. So uh, hopefully they'll start attacking me soon. Keep going. And explore. They tend to get a bit stuck. Because the AI pathing is not particularly intelligent. <laughs> Oops, I missed one. Now there's, so there's no previous. <laughs> I can go next, but I can't go previous. Oh, you might as well head up there. Are you close enough? You can explore. Alright. Twenty-seven goods in return for seventy-nine metals. Why not? So opinion continues to go down. And apparently my mother country <laughs> relations are going down with everybody. Uh. British. So mean. They don't like anybody. I'm not even bothering. <laughs> You'd still be uh, managing your cities, of course. Ah, here we go. They're attacking. Excellent. Now, they're not coming with a whole lot. As I mentioned, I've got crap loads of troops stationed in my cities. So, with a bit of luck. I don't have any cavalry in here. Uh, you guys in there. We'll put all you guys in there. And we'll chuck you guys in there. So they're probably going to get the charge bonus for the cav. Oh, when they killed someone. They have some super accurate... ...cannon fire uh, going on. Oh, uh, get, get in there. And we got one attack, we might as well... Some counter battery fire. Now you notice it doesn't have the raid stuff here. They're actually trying to capture, not destroy. Which is good. Uh, I do have some uh, six attacks. 
text left. I do have some armies standing by outside some of my cities in order to... Hmm... Counter-attack if necessary. And I don't want to move these guys up because these guys would catch them in a crossfire. Plus a charge from here, potentially. So that'll actually... I can move another reserves up there. Now, as I recall, there are not too many... F I think there's about three or four normally, is what I've seen. Uh, of attacks by your mother country, and then eventually if you beat them all off, they just give up. Up. Move the cannon back to there. They're still not retreating though. And unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to uh, quickly select everyone in the same square. Is that? Oh! Ow! Keep moving up. I do have lots of attacks. I've got ten attacks. Demolished. Okay, now they think we're independent. Military units improving! Excellent. Leader has improved, he got four experience points. Get another attack for that, thank you. Uh, the guys stationed in there don't actually need to be able to lead anyone. As far as I can tell, all your units just sort of go in there anyway. Now these will heal over time. I believe each turn, while they're stationed, garrisoned inside a city, they'll actually heal. Uh, but we might actually just uh, recruit another infantry. And I am just putting stuff in here. Don't think I did a lot because uh, I don't have a whole lot of gold. They're actually blocking my trade at the moment, so I can't sell anything to another country. Only getting 500 gold in, which means uh, we might just uh, go on the defensive there. But again, let's just keep going because all we're doing is showing things off. They still want tax. <laughs> Well, where can you go? Oh, you can head up here. Where keep going. Yep, they're attacking me again. Same colony. See, most of my units are healed. This guy's not fully healed, but, uh... Notice this guy's six. This guy would be six if he was fully healed. Which, uh, it's kind of cool, actually. So you can only recruit guys with five hit points, but uh, with more experience they can actually gain... was a bit of a delayed shot there. <laughs> I 
Oh! Of course, my guys are already there. Ha! <laughs> For some reason, and I don't know why, I thought these guys were the enemy cavalry. I know we're all wear wearing the same colour, but... Uh... No, you guys moved up so you can't attack, but you can attack! You can fire him. And that'll do me for the moment. I don't want to block retreat paths if I can avoid it because they'll take more damage if I do. Anyway. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Kill this guy. Excellent. That didn't do anything at all. Ah, I've got no attacks left. Alright, that's fine. You can move forwards there. And you guys can move into there. Yeah, they're gonna get the crossfire bonus for that. But that's fine. You guys, pound him. Got nine attacks left. Them. Move these guys up. Cross. I actually kind of thought they'd retreat then, but I guess I was wrong. You, 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 you. Shut <laughs> up. Unbelievable. Now, I'm not sure how the... AI determines the strength of the army it's going to attack you with. I had a feeling it was uh, scaled somewhat to your city. Of course this game's on very easy difficulty setting as I recall. 81 wood for 81 metals. He's got a lot of metals. you got a lot of metals. That's not enough to get another attack. Uh, so presumably if I was on a higher difficulty level they'd be sending more enemies at me. <laughs> I zoomed in a bit closer to look at that. Sure, one, two, three, four. I need to get more infantry again because uh, they keep killing my infantry. I do have, uh, he's got infantry attached. Doesn't really matter. Liberty or die! So they haven't decided I am strong enough to be independent yet. Oh, you guys keep moving. Not really matters at this point. We have discovered the entire coast of this continent. It's the edge of the world, you can't go beyond there. Keep going. I guess they want at least one more attack before possibly two. 70 gold for 7 wood. Sure, why not? Eh, it doesn't matter. I was exploring, but... Pfft. Oh, they're attacking Oxford this time. Still not coming in with a particularly strong attacking force. And I'll send a strong cavalry up the flank here. Maybe all these cannons are only... Militia cannons. No, 
I'll keep you guys together. You in there now. I can't remember if I mentioned in the previous battle. The guys in red, I know I mentioned that they're raised from the local populace. Uh, as they take damage, I believe your population of your city actually does go down. Which is obviously something to be aware of. I don't think well, we've got too much of a problem with population at the moment, actually. Growing at a fairly oh! steady sort of a rate. Lots of churches and all. Amount of attacks, ah! movements. Ah! You reckon you can kill him or at least get him to retreat? did that time. Six attacks left. If I do that... Oh. This is risky, because I could get caught in a crossfire here. But I won't, because it, I got his cannon. And three attacks left. You dead. Move you up. Cheeky. And move them there. Them will take there. Cheeky bugger. Uh, you can all fit in there, actually. You can move over there. You were supposed to move up. Done. Oh! I really don't think you got much chance now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Boom! Done. Nine goods for 25 metals. Whatever. Military unit improves. There we go. Glorious victory. There is improved, but I guess we've got another attack out of that. I'm not actually sure what reputation does. And when I say not sure, I really mean I haven't the slightest clue. I don't even know what it could possibly be in regards to. Um, right, how are we going with our military in here? It's pretty strong infantry. Here, these guys took some casualties, but the cavalry's gone up to level six, well, level five, so six hit points. Might just uh, purchase some more infantry there, actually. Population is huge, so doesn't matter. Another attack. Bit of luck, this will be actually be the last one. I don't remember it ever got taking more than four. Then again, I never uh, actually changed the difficulty setting. Oh. I have to move you first, okay. It's fine, whatever. Don't even have any cannons this time. Ah! 
Now this is a very stupid idea. <laughs> because they are basically going to be cross-fired into oblivion, I think. But hey! They didn't die. <laughs> Everything counts in large amounts. Make him retreat. This is a good demonstration for a capture the flag. We win. There you go. Eight good. Whatever, I don't really care. Our leader has improved again, but not enough more. Still not independent. We can, of course, if we are losing, we can sue for peace or sue for commonwealth. Uh, I've never actually done either, so I don't know the full process. I do know that you have to end up paying all your taxes, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Uh, but beyond that, I've never actually needed to. I was kind of hoping that... Uh, they decide we were too strong for them and bugger off, but uh, I haven't yet. So we can keep going. I still want to tax us. Anyway. Cavalry's a bit beat up. Plenty of infantry though. Yes, you are still spending money getting uh, defence on the infantry because the infantry usually have to either cop something from cavalry and cannons or hope other infantry move into them before they can actually fight. Eh, whatever. Here we go. Now I've never done autoplay, I don't know if it's better or worse. I don't know how smart the AI is for, for auto-playing. I've never really seen the point of it. I mean, battles do not take very long. Let's be honest. Uh, put you as a rather sacrificial lamb. Just to stop. stop him getting a charge bonus. You guys do it. Ow. Again, you hit nothing. Six attacks. You get rid of him. Two attacks left. Do you think you can actually hit something this time? Thank you! I do appreciate it. Five attacks left, which is exactly how many units I've got left. You didn't hit anything. Alright, now let's see if we can just get rid of this. And, just because I'm being mean... <laughs> I 
I'm not sure if you have to kill a certain number of points worth of the mother country to get your independence, or... Six goods for 170 gold? <laughs> I don't care. You don't have much there. There we go, you have won independence from the mother country. Relations have normalised at neutral and the popular opinion on both sides now reflects that. Basically what that means is we can now propose uh, going up or down. To whoever we want, we can uh, become friends with everyone. Or enemies if we prefer, so... Uh, but that is basically it at this point. You're pretty much fighting just to become the sole survivor, really. I mean, it is, uh, you know, score-based. Um, yes, independent, that's right. His current standings, I'm miles ahead. No one else is independent. Oh, but of course, I did kind of cheat. As we all know, I started off with a fully fleshed out colony. But that is really it. Um, at this point, there's nothing left to do except uh, destroy the enemy, really. I, I don't know if you set it to a certain number of points to claim victory. I don't know if there's a, a points-based victory or not. Presumably there is somehow when you set up the game, but uh, I don't know for sure because I've always just played it to the death. But that is it. Uh, I don't mind this game. It's quite fun. It is uh, fairly dated now. I mean, it's from nearly 20 years ago it was made, but uh, I think it still goes pretty well. And there you have it. Uh, if you like it, if you want to buy it, GOG.com. Somewhere around five US dollars, give or take. And yeah, that's it. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.